All right, we are covering the Romanesque period this week. We just finished the Byzantine era. If I can get this to move forward, there we go. Um, before we actually get into the Romanesque period, there is a time period between Byzantine, which is technically the end of the Roman age, until the 11th century. And it's about 400 years, and it, it there is no art, very little anyway, because it was considered sacrilegious. So we are not even going to kind of cover that era, um, but just recognize what the Dark Ages was and why there is very little art in that. Okay, so the Byzantine era happened down over here. Hopefully you can see my pointer. Near Turkey, you can see where it says Byzantine era. That was where Constantinople was and all those churches and things we looked at last week. Now we're back up here, more in what we kind of consider the main part of Europe. Okay, and um, notice it looks a little different, like the Roman Empire is in a different place. We now have these Norman kingdoms, but basically we're covering all of the this green and pink and purple area here. Okay. So once again, in the Romanesque period, art and architecture are all settled around the church. Um, it is still a fairly um, rural settings. And so the church was the center of the cities and the cultural areas. And people would come in from the rural areas to go to the church. So that is where all the art is. And um, if you go over to Europe, you will still be able to see quite a few Romanesque churches standing today mainly in France, Germany, and Italy, but they're really all over the place. Okay, here's our cross-section view from the top of a Romanesque cathedral, and recognize that it's still got the nave here, it's still got your aisles there, your transept, although it is longer now, and your apse is still there. Your narthex is still down here at the end. Not as many of these have atriums, some of them do, but not nearly as many. So hopefully you can tell by looking at it that this is now more in the shape of a cross. And that was done intentionally. They started to add that. And then notice here in red, you definitely need to know that as well. So the entrance to these churches is usually at the west end so they could worship towards the east, which is Jerusalem, so that they would be worshiping towards their holy city. Um, that was a new thing in the Romanesque era. So recognize this is still a Roman basilica. It's just got a few, you know, changes, minor changes to it, but it's definitely not Byzantine because there are not the rotundas all over the place like there were on the last one. Okay, so this is a view on the, of the inside of a Romanesque cathedral and just be aware it's still, this is still the nave, but this is called the nave vaults because there is this because there is um, the rounded arch at the top and see how there's just rounded arch after rounded arch after rounded arch that is what a vault is so it kind of looks like a tunnel of arches and that starts happening during the Roman period and I don't remember if you have to know vaults yet but you will eventually so be aware of what a vault is I can get this to move forward here. All right, so this is kind of a typical Romanesque cathedral. You do not have to know the name of this one. Sorry, won't move too fast here. Um, you just have to be able to recognize it as Romanesque. So you can see the definite cross shape, how the transept is longer there. Okay, you can see your apse, your narthex, your aisles, and your nave right here. But the big new addition is this big tower on the top. And often um, it would be right in the middle of this transept and the nave crossing, the intercept there. And they would call that a lantern. Um, and it's a lantern because of it looks like lantern, right? I don't know how else to describe it. Um, all these little windows, it gets a little narrower as it goes up. It's not completely straight. Um, and it has that big point on the top. That makes it a lantern. Here's the view from the front. And you can see the lantern. They would also sometimes add towers, and we'll look at those different. Um, it, we'll look at how they're different here in a little bit. 
in the next couple days. But uh, this one is definitely a lantern and it's on the transept. And that is pretty typical Romanesque. I will show you a few that have a tower in a different place later on this week. All right, but this is where we're going to stop. So make sure you can recognize that as a Romanesque cathedral.